deep. And one plumber said, look at all that water. And the second plumber said, yes, and that's just the top of it. <laughs> Mr. Mason. Vernon tells me that you're a wonderful golfer. I play. Occasionally. Oh. Mrs. Mason. Where do you get your beautiful suits? Oh, all of my suits are tailor-made. Hello, Dudley. But wasn't there something... <laughs> Yes, Papa. Oh, Master Malfoy, what a pleasure to see you again. And young Master Malfoy, too. Delighted. I must show you, just in today, and very reasonably priced. I'm not buying today, Morgan. I'm selling. Selling? Draco. You are aware, no doubt, that the Ministry of Magic is conducting more raids on private houses. There's even rumors of a new Muggle Protection Act. Pure wizard blood is counting for less everywhere, I'm afraid. Not with me. Anyway, I brought a few items from home that might prove uh, <clears throat> embarrassing for the Ministry to call. Those poisons and the like. Look at that. That particular item is not for sale. I understand. It has unique qualities. One wouldn't want to see it falling into the wrong hands. You can keep the box. What did I say? Touch nothing. Exactly. Sorry, Father. Come on, we go. It's a pleasure to do business with you, Mr. Moore. Always a pleasure. Looking for something? No, I... I'm just in the wrong place. Sorry. Thank you. There we go. Now, all we need to do is find the Hogwarts Express. Ron, are you sure you know how to fly this? No problem. Mr. Filch, you dropped this. Hi, Harry. I'm Colin Creamy. I'm in Gryffindor, too. Hi, Colin. Nice to meet you. Say, do you think your friend here could take a photo of me and you standing together? You know, to prove I've met you. It's for my dad. He's a milkman, you know, a muggle, like all our family's been until me. No one knew all the odd stuff I could do was magic till we got our letter from Hogwarts. Everyone just thought I was mental. Imagine that. 
I see you've all bought a complete set of my books. Well done. Now, I thought we'd start today with a little quiz. Nothing to worry about, just to check how well you've read them. Thank you. How much you've uh, taken in. Look at these questions. They're all about him. What is Gilderoy Lockhart's favourite colour? What is Gilderoy Lockhart's greatest achievement to date? You have 30 minutes. Start. Now! Tut, tut. Hardly any of you remember that my favourite colour is lilac. But Miss Hermione Granger knew that my secret ambition is to rid the world of evil and market my own range of hair care potions. Good girl. Thanks. Lockhart's something, isn't he? Awfully brave chap. Justin Finch Fletchley, Hufflepuff. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm... I know who you are. We all do, even us Muggleborns. Let me introduce my assistant, Professor Snape. So anyway, I told Justin to hide up in our dormitory. I mean to say, if Potter's marks him down as his next victim, it's best to keep a low profile for a while. But why would he want to attack Justin? Well, Justin let it slip to Potter that he was Muggleborn. And you definitely think Potter's the heir of Slytherin? Anna, he's a parcel mouth. Everyone knows that's the mark of a dark wizard. Have you ever heard of a decent one who could talk to snakes? They called Slytherin himself Serpent Tongue. Harry always seems so nice, though. And after all, he is the one who made you know who disappear. That's probably why you know who wanted to kill him in the first place. Didn't want another Dark Lord competing with him. Hello, Harry. You all right? Hagrid, what are you doing here? Second one killed this term. No, I reckon it's either a fox or a blood-sucking bugbear. So I've just been up at Dumbledore's getting permission to put a little charm around the old hen coop. You sure you're all right? You're awful hot and bothered. It's nothing. Look, I, I better get going. I've got a lot of studying to... Slytherin. Be careful. He's a seriously evil wizard. <laughs> oh, come on, Harry. Fred and George are just having a laugh. They're the only ones. Okay, so half the school thinks you're nipping off to the Chamber of Secrets every night. Who cares? Maybe they're right. 
Harry. Harry. Oh, come on. Look, I didn't know I could speak parcel tongue. What else don't I know about myself? Look. Maybe you can do something. Even something horrible. And not know you did it. You don't believe that, Harry. I know you don't. And if it makes you feel any better, Malfoy is staying for the holidays too. Why would that make anyone feel any better? Because in a few days, the Polyjuice potion will be ready. In a few days, we may truly know who is the heir of Slytherin. Did you get the hairs? What are those? Slytherin robes. I had to sneak them from the laundry. Are we going to drink that? Mm. We'll have exactly one hour before we change back into ourselves. There's a name in this diary. Tom Marvolo Riddle. Tom Marvolo Riddle? Hang on. I know that name. But I know that name. Of course. That night I had detention. My job was to polish the silver in the trophy room. I remember. Because I kept burping up slugs over Tom Riddle's trophy. What was the trophy for? He won the award 50 years ago. Special services to the school or something. 50 years ago, are you sure? Yeah, why? Don't you remember what Malfoy told you? The last time the chamber was open was... 50 years ago. But that means... Tom Riddle was here at Hogwarts when it happened. What if he wrote about what he saw? It's possible he knew where the chamber was, how to open it, even what sort of creature lives in it. If so... Whoever's behind these attacks wouldn't want this diary lying around, would they? It's a brilliant theory, Hermione, but there's just one flaw. There's nothing written in this diary. <gasps> Do you mind? opened the Chamber of Secrets 50 years ago. Ready? Listen. It sounds like something big. Big? <laughs> Harry! Harry, it's our car! It must have been here all the time. And look, the forest has turned it wild. Come on. We don't want to lose the trail. 